Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Honest Homemaking. And today I am bringing to you my final pregnancy update. The update. Yes, <laughs> I'm still alive. And yes, I'm still very much pregnant. Um, I just set up my tripod and like moved the lamp so I'd have a little better lighting and I'm winded like whew, I probably should have taken a minute to catch my breath before I decided to sit down and start recording but uh, anyway it's 9:36 at night and at the time of recording this I am 37 and a half almost 38 weeks pregnant and I'm so tired and uncomfortable this baby has spent most of its time up in my ribs. Um, I have the same midwife that I had last time and she, you know, she commented a few times on, on how much higher this baby sat than Leo did. Most of the time he was, he was pretty low and this baby has been pretty high up. Let me give you a little backstory. This is my fourth pregnancy and I have gone overdue and been medically induced every time. And it sucks. <laughs> I've had Pitocin and Cervidil and, you know, just about anything that you can think of. And I've tried all the home remedies, except before this pregnancy, I had never tried midwife's brew. I have tried lots of sex, lots of walking, um, red raspberry leaf tea, evening primrose oil, sitting on a yoga ball, all of the, you know, the home induction techniques I have tried. I never tried castor oil because I was terrified that it would make my baby poo in the womb. And I didn't know, I had never done any research on it. And actually, after I've, I mean, I did my own research, which you can do your own research too. Um, it's not the castor oil that generally causes baby to poo in the womb. Baby can poo in the womb without castor oil. Um, baby can poo in the womb with it. Generally, it's going overdue that causes that to happen. So, anyway, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So, at my, let's see, how, how my 38 week appointment get? At my 37 week appointment, no, rewind. At my 36 week appointment, um, they checked baby. He looks great. Um, they're saying that he's going to be very tall because even though she could feel his head up in my, like literally between my rib cage, she could feel his head down, you know, down there. So he, she thinks that he's going to be very tall, which, you know, Leo was tall and Chris is tall. So that's to be expected, I guess. But um, she said that everything looks good. Baby looks good. My cervix was high and tight or high and closed. I don't exactly know how they described that. There was nothing happening at 36 weeks. So she told me that I had the green light to go ahead and start whatever at home induction techniques I wanted to try because she knows how badly I want to go into labor on my own and she knows that this is my fourth pregnancy and nothing's happening. So we already have an induction date scheduled because I just, it's probably going to happen that way. But anyway, so I came home, I tried the midwife's brew. Now if you don't know what this is, I will try to include a couple links to some videos that I found very helpful. Uh, it's supposed to be like this, sorry. It's supposed to be like this magic concoction that puts you into labor. It is supposed, it has, some kind of tea, lemon verbena tea, apricot juice, uh, almond butter, and then the castor oil, which is the magic ingredient. So this is a pregnancy update, so there are going to be some TMI things. I came home at 36 weeks, made this concoction. I, no, I was 36 weeks and four days, and I made this concoction. And, you know, she told me that if I did anything with castor oil that it might make me go to the bathroom. Well, one of the pregnancy symptoms that I 
always have is constipation. I never can go poo when I'm pregnant. It is horrible. <laughs> so um, that sounded like a positive to me. So I, she said, go home and try it. 36 weeks and four days, I tried my first round. Nothing happened. I didn't even have a good poo. Nothing happened. So um, I tried it a second time two days later and I had some inconsistent mild contractions along with the whole time I'm doing we are a very active family um, I don't know if you saw on my Instagram we just went and spent two nights in a fire tower cabin that is like 70 feet in the air and you have to climb like three flights of stairs to get there so we I mean we are active all the time and I'm doing the evening primrose oil and the red raspberry leaf tea and the walking and the sex and so I went in for my 37 week appointment which actually falls at like 37 weeks and two days and there was some change I was two centimeters thinned out or two centimeters dilated and 70 percent effaced and the next night was there were two nights Friday night I think was due to be the full moon I don't know the full moon was supposed to be like two days later and so I was like oh yes I'm going into labor because <laughs> two centimeters and 70% faced is something I mean that's that's some kind of change well that was almost a week ago I am just about to go in for my 38 week appointment and nothing is happening I have since drank the midwives brew two more times it never really did help me go to the bathroom um, I would say that the second time I drank it I did get to go to the bathroom but it wasn't like uh, what, what for me it wasn't like what everybody else said it was it wasn't like explosive or anything like that I just went to the bathroom it was pretty uneventful um, so really I don't know what's happening um, I do have my 38 week appointment in two days and I guess we will see if anything happened because I drank the brew two more times and I'm still not in labor the full moon came and went still not in labor and I'm really hopeful I really want to go into labor on my own oh I forgot nipple stimulation tried that too um, only that one scares me because I tried it like religiously when I was pregnant with Leo like um, you know they have all these guidelines for do two minutes and then wait 15 minutes and two minutes and I did that religiously and then the next day when I went in for my checkup his heart rate was high and she said that she thought it might be stressing him so I have used that very intermittently this time like if I already feel some contractions coming on like practice or Braxton Hicks or false labor or whatever you want to call it um, then I'll try it you know to maybe kind of like try to speed things along but so far no luck other than that not a lot is happening um, I have had some occasional contractions I have a lot of discomfort when I'm sleeping my hips ache so bad uh, that it wakes me up all night long I cannot get I'll get better rest when the baby gowns because <laughs> new when Leo was a newborn he did not wake me up as much as being in pain this pregnancy has um, so my hips hurt when I'm sleeping I do feel like he has lowered some or at least at times because there are times when I feel like I can't quite close my legs all the way because it feels like I'm squishing him if that makes any sense um, oh uh, as far as weight gain goes I was a little on my heavier end of the scale when I got pregnant I've gained so far I think 22 pounds which is fine but it puts me at a higher number than I'm used to seeing so that uh, is a little frustrating but you know 22 pounds for two weeks from my due date is not bad um, it might actually be the least amount of weight I've gained while pregnant with my first I gained 80 pounds 80 pounds in nine months that's where I got all of those glorious stretch marks uh, with my second, I gained 60 pounds. With Leo, I gained 35. And so far with this one, I've gained 22. So, but like I said, I started out quite a, quite a bit heavier than I normally am. So, 
Uh, I have all of our stuff packed. We have the baby seat ready. We have, I have his diaper bag packed. Uh, we have most of the stuff in our bag packed except for clothes we're still wearing, of course. So all I have to do is throw our few daily toiletries in a bag and a few clothing items that we're wearing regularly. I did buy, I'm super excited about this. Um, okay, so this is not sponsored. They did not send me this. I purchased this with my own money and I am so excited about it. It is a hospital road, like a hospital delivery gown. See, it's got all the snaps in the back. Um, the front has like a flap that opens at the belly and it snaps at the top right here like this. So it's just like a hospital gown, but it is made out of like actual material and it snaps all the way down the back so your booty's not going to be hanging out. I, um, I, I mean like I'm kind of a, a private person in labor. I don't want everybody and their brother seeing my booty if I'm walking the halls and things like that. So uh, it's by... Baby Be Mine Maternity, and I got it off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below if I remember. You guys know how squirrely my brain is. And I think I paid like $29 for it, but, or I think shipping was free because we have Prime. But uh, I can't wait to try it on and wear it while I'm in labor. I got black because, you know, labor juices. But uh, I'm looking forward to feeling comfortable while I'm labor and not like I'm in a paper gown with my junk hanging out. And that we now have to drive to a hospital that's two hours away because we live in the middle of nowhere in West Virginia. And <laughs> I am a little worried that we won't make it to the hospital because I am two centimeters and 70%. And I'm hoping more than that by now because that was a week ago. Uh, so I'm worried a little bit about not making it to the hospital, but I don't actually think that will be the case. I. I feel like I'm going to have to be induced again, which is not the worst thing in the world. I have, fingers crossed, so far I've never had a bad induction. I, like I said, I've had three with Cervidil and Pitocin both times. Um, never had a problem, and I don't expect that I will have a problem. It's just, I want that moment of excitement of getting our stuff in the car and going to the hospital and not knowing when it's going to happen because like I said we already have a date scheduled so I guess we will it's just a waiting game and I'm not it's not that I'm trying to rush my baby out I know that baby will come when when he's ready um, but I still want the fun and experience We, we kind of joke a little bit about the fact that my body doesn't know how to go into labor on its own because we have to evict them every time. Um, and I'm very uncomfortable. This is probably my most uncomfortable pregnancy. Uh, I don't know if it's because he has sat so high up in my ribs the whole time or I don't know why that is, but my hips ache. Just I'm, I'm more uncomfortable this time than I ever have been. So, uh, I think that's really all I have to update you on. I am going to tell you that I'm as soon as I'm done recording this, I'm going to record a second, very short clip, just saying I'm in labor. <laughs> and I will go ahead and upload it, but I will keep it like private. And then if I do get to spontaneously go into labor, or if my induction day comes and they induce me, um, I'll make it public so you guys will know in real time when I'm in labor. And I hope to update on Instagram, like my Instagram story and stuff like that, because it's just easier to take my phone and record like a 15 second clip of me telling you what's going on than to sit down and get my camera and edit and all that stuff. So I will put a video up that says I'm in labor, unless it happens like tonight before I can even get these up. So be sure to be on the lookout for that because one way or another, within the next few weeks, this baby is coming. 
whether I go into labor naturally or whether we have to evict him. So just, you know, be ready. I'm ready. We're all ready. We're just waiting on baby to be ready. We do have a name we think. Uh, I haven't announced it yet because truthfully it depends on what day he comes. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Chris's father passed away when Leo was just like six months old. And he was born on August 14th. And Chris and I talked about it and we thought that it would be, this baby could be born on August 14th. So um, if the baby comes on August 14th, we have thought about naming it after him. And then if it doesn't come on August 14th, then we have another name picked out. So while we are settled, we just don't know exactly which one it's going to be yet. So I'm not like trying to be cryptic. I just, I don't want to tell you a name and then everybody be like, oh, I love it. And then it comes on his dad's birthday and then we totally throw it out the window. So um, we'll just have to wait and see what day he comes on. Uh, I'm going to show you my belly and then... I think that's probably it for now. Okay, see it is a very large belly. Um, you can see here that I've gained a little baby on my back too <laughs> on both sides. It is very round in the front, like just very round, very right there. So uh, I look very much do anyway so that is all for this pregnancy update be on the lookout for that i'm in labor video because whether i'm induced or not within the next few weeks it's coming within three weeks there will be a baby here so there will be a baby here within three weeks and then i get to introduce you to him and i'm so excited about that anyway uh all right, that's all I got because I'm just going to keep rambling. I will see you guys in my next video. Watch for that labor announcement. Be sure to follow me on Instagram so you get those lab updates. I will link it below and I will put it across the screen somewhere. It will be here. Um, what else? I guess that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.